the Wooting 60E, Ducky 1 2 Mini, Logitech MX Mechanical, Epo Maker RT, 100 and Epo Maker, the 80 PRO V2 are the most popular silent mechanical keyboards of 2025, but which is the absolute best? We are going to compare them to each other and score them in various categories, with some categories holding more weight than others. In the end, we'll decide which is the best one based on the final score, and we will declare the absolute winner. Let's dive in! First, we are going to compare them on the noise level category, which has a multiplier of three. The Wooting 60. HE has good typing noise without any distracting high-pitched clicking sounds, and the pre-installed Poron and EPDM foam layers make it somewhat quieter than its predecessor. While it's marketed as quiet, I found it to be more moderate in noise level, compared to truly silent keyboards in this lineup, earning it six out of 10. The Ducky 1-2 Mini with Cherry MX Brown switches provides a quiet typing experience that won't disturb others in a noise-sensitive office environment. Though the dampening isn't as sophisticated sophisticated as newer models, the overall noise profile remains impressively controlled for its price point, scoring 7 out of 10. The Logitech MX Mechanical with tactile quiet switches delivers silent presses with reactive key reset, making it ideal for those seeking tactile feedback without the noise. I found the sound dampening to be quite effective during long typing sessions, though some bottom-out noise is still present, earning it 8 out of 10. The Epomaker RT100 impressed me with its multiple foam sheets and silent switches working together to create an incredibly quiet typing experience that's perfect perfect for public work environments. The pre-lube stabilizers and thick PBT keycaps contribute to noise reduction, though it feels slightly over dampened, scoring 9 out of 10. The EpoMaker TH80 PROV2 showcases remarkable sound dampening with its premium internal layers, creating a refined, deep thock that's both quiet and satisfying. While the pre-lubed plate-mounted stabilizers eliminate any trace of rattling or pinging, the sophisticated dampening system and complete absence of hollow sounds make it stand out, deserving a perfect 10 out of 10. The TH80 PROV2 takes the crown in noise level with its perfect 10-point score, combining premium dampening layers with expertly tuned acoustics to deliver the most refined sound profile I've experienced in a mechanical keyboard. Next, we are going to compare them on the key switch type category, which has a multiplier of two. The Wooting 60 Heat comes with Gator on Lecker, linear 60 switches that use magnetic Hall effect sensors, allowing for incredible customization of pre-travel distance between 0.1 and 4.00 millimeters in tiny increments. While these switches offer amazing customization potential, they're proprietary, which means you're locked into using only Lecker switches even though the board is hot swappable. Eight out of 10. The Ducky One 2 Mini V2 features Cherry MX Brown switches that feel light and responsive, providing a satisfying tactile bump without being too loud. The switches are perfect for office use, though they lack the customization options of more premium boards. Seven out of 10. The Logitech MX Mechanical comes with your choice of Kyle Chalk 5 2 switches in tactile quiet, linear, or clicky variants, with the brown switches specially tweaked for quietness. I found the low profile design with 3.2 millimeters of travel quite comfortable for typing, though the switches aren't hot swappable, which limits future customization. 7.5 out of 10. The EpoMaker RT100 offers sea salt silent switches that provide an incredibly quiet typing experience, perfect for office environments. The hot swappable design gives you freedom to experiment with different switches later, making this an excellent value proposition. 8.5 out of 10. The EpoMaker The 80. Pro V2 comes with a variety of premium switch options, including Mulan, Flamingo, Wisteria, and Budgerigar switches, all pre lubed from the factory for smooth operation. The hot swappable PCB combined with the gasket mounted structure creates an incredibly satisfying typing experience that rivals much more expensive keyboards, 9 out of 10. The EPO Maker TH80 PROVI2 takes the crown scoring 9 points thanks to its impressive variety of premium switch options and factory lube stabilizers that create an unmatched typing experience at its price point. Next, we are going to compare them on the build quality category, which has a multiplier of 2. The Wooting 60 He's plastic body feels incredibly solid with no flex, and I love how they've designed it to be modular and compatible with most aftermarket cases for customization. While the stock stabilizers and foam dampening are decent, the typing sound out of the box could use some improvement, though this is easily fixable with modifications. 8 out of 10. The Ducky One 2 Mini features a sturdy two-tone plastic construction with minimal flex and stable double-shot PBT keycaps that feel fantastic to type on. The rubber feet provide excellent grip, though I noticed the inclined feet aren't as grippy and sometimes collapse when moving the keyboard around a minor but annoying issue, 7 out of 10. The Logitech MX Mechanical impressed me with its aluminum top plate and solid plastic chassis showing zero flex, plus the ABS keycaps have this nice soft coating that adds grip, though I did notice the coating tends to show finger oils rather quickly. The stabilizers provide excellent support for larger keys with minimal wobble, and the rubber strips on the bottom keep it firmly planted, 8.5 out of 10. The EpoMaker RT100's construction really surprised me. It uses a gasket structure with slow rebound bottom case foam that creates an impressively 
relatively solid feel. While the overall build quality shows careful attention to detail, I found the drivers to be a bit finicky, which slightly impacts the overall premium feel. 7.5 out of 10. The TH80 Pro V2 features impressive build quality that rivals more expensive keyboards. With a sturdy plastic base that shows no signs of poor construction and stays firmly planted on the desk thanks to its substantial weight. The hot swappable PCB supports both 3 pin and 5 pin switches, which is fantastic for customization, though I wish it came with a wrist rest included. 9 out of 10. The TH80 Pro V2 takes the crown in build quality with 9 points by delivering premium construction and versatile customization options that punch way above its price point. Next, we are going to compare them on the typing experience category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The Wooting 60, he delivers a smooth typing experience with its linear Gatoron Lecker switches that let you customize pre-travel distance between 0.1 and 4 millimeters, though the high profile and lack of included wrist rest might cause fatigue during longer sessions. While the typing quality is great overall, there's some minor wobbling in larger keys without stabilizers. 8 out of 10. The Ducky 1 2. Mini offers fantastic typing quality with stable PBT keycaps and a nice concave curve that helps differentiate between keys, but the compact layout might take some getting used to. I found the Cherry MX Brown switches to be responsive with good tactile feedback making it a solid choice, 7 out of 10. The Logitech MX Mechanical provides an enjoyable typing experience with its soft-coated ABS keycaps and stable keys, though the flat low-profile keycaps might slow down your typing speed initially if you're coming from a high-profile board. The Kale Chalk 5 two low-profile brown switches offer a smooth keystroke with a subtle tactile bump that doesn't require much force, 8.5 out of 10. The Ipomaker RT100 truly feels like typing on a cloud with its unique sea salt silent switches and gasket structure combined with slow rebound bottom case foam. The PBT keycaps and comfortable layout make typing effortless, though some might find the feedback too soft. 9 out of 10. The TH80 Pro V2 delivers an incredibly satisfying typing experience with its pre-lube stabilizers and switches, producing a deep, thocky sound that matches premium metal custom keyboards. The keyboard shows no signs of pinging or rattling, and the optimal ergonomics make it perfect for extended typing sessions. 9.5 out of 10. The TH80 Pro V2 takes the crown in typing experience with 9.5 points, thanks to its premium dampening layers and refined keystroke feel that rivals much more expensive keyboards. Finally, we are going to compare them on the price category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The Wooting 60 He is a premium keyboard with exceptional gaming performance, but it comes at a steep cost that may not be justifiable for casual users. However, its unparalleled customization options and responsiveness make it a worthy investment for competitive gamers. 7 out of 10. The Ducky One 2 Mini offers excellent build quality and customizable RGB lighting at a more reasonable price point, though it lacks some modern features like hot swappable switches. Despite this, it remains a solid choice for those seeking a compact, high-quality mechanical keyboard without breaking the bank. 8 out of 10. Logitech's MX Mechanical provides a great typing experience and wireless connectivity, but its price tag is a bit high considering its limited customization options and inability to operate in wired USB mode. Nevertheless, its build quality and multi-device support make it a decent option for professionals. 7 out of 10. The Ipomaker RT100 stands out with its unique Smart Mini TV feature and satisfying typing experience, offering excellent value for money with its robust build and multiple connectivity options. While its software could be more intuitive, the overall package is impressive for its price point. 9 out of 10. I've been using the Ipomaker TH80 PRO V2 for a while now, and I'm blown away by the value it offers. With its hot swappable switches, impressive battery life, and sturdy construction, it outperforms many pricier alternatives, making it an absolute steal for keyboard enthusiasts and casual users alike. 10 out of 10, the Epo Maker Thady. Piero V2 takes the crown in the price category with 10 points, offering an unbeatable combination of features, performance, and affordability that's hard to resist. The results of our comparison show each product shines in its own way, but the Epo Maker TIH80 Piero V2 stands out with its score of 95.25. Having spent considerable time with all these keyboards, I can confidently say that the TH80 PRO V2 delivers exceptional value for both casual users and seasoned keyboard enthusiasts. Its premium build quality, versatile switch options, and outstanding dampening technology combine to create an unparalleled typing experience. This keyboard not only excels in noise reduction and build quality, but also offers an incredible variety of features at a surprisingly budget-friendly price, making it the clear winner in this roundup. While the Epo Maker TH80 PRO V2 takes the top spot, the other contenders each have their merits to consider. The Ipomaker RT100 scored a solid 86, offering quiet typing and excellent value with its unique features. The Logitech MX Mechanical, scoring 79.25, provides a great typing experience and robust build quality, making it
it a reliable choice for professionals. The Wooting 60, HE and Ducky, one too many, with scores of 72.5 and 71.5 respectively. Both deliver solid performance for gamers and typists alike, bringing excellent customization and tactile feedback to the table. Each of these keyboards has its strengths, and depending on your specific needs, may be the perfect fit for you.